Hello everyone, I'm Bu Wen Li from the School of Mechanical Engineering, Tongji University. This summer, I'm honored to join Robotic Institute Summer Scholar Program, guided by Professor Sebastian. For the past few weeks, I've been searching about fuel detection tasks and designing a model, termed as Fan Find, which aims at one-shot informed fuel interest in object detection. Here, I'm glad to present about my work. This presentation consists of five parts. First is the introduction of my project. Second is current challenges of the existing prior work of the project. Third is my method, then find. And fourth is the experimental results and insightful observations which point at the future work in this project. For my project, we expect several drones flying to various areas for autonomous exploration tasks and they are expected to detect interesting objects with just few annotations, and these interesting objects may not be included during training. Back in the lab, we have the few short annotations, which are, which are fire extinguisher, rope, vents, and backpack. Then how can we expect the output results in the right that in the following image, images captured by the drones? With pre-survey, I find the challenges of the existing works. They are First, too few annotations are provided in this, in this project, and current detectors they really can't work well with just one to two short samples. And, and second, is the detector needs to fast adaptive without fine-tuning, because existing work they rely on fine-tuning to adaptive to the normal classes, but we can refine-tune every time we change the interesting classes. And third, the detector needs to output dynamic number of classes, with no fixed layer defined during base training. So the conclusion can be drawn that existing fusion detectors they fail to live up to our expectations. To this regard, this work aims at designing a one short informed object detector that can be directly applied without fine-tuning, like the right figure. When we use space classes, abundant space classes, including dogs, persons, and bikes, to train our models in fine, and we expect it to be directly applied with no fine tuning on the interesting labeled classes like cat, zebra, and bear. And our motivation is threefold. We want a two-stage detector because the region proposal network are proved to be class agnostic. And we want to adopt meta-learning strategy which proves to work well in such case. And third is class agnostic. It is the most important because we don't want the detector to learn the inter-class feature of the relation of the support set and the query set. Thus, with the motivation, we propose SIMFIN, Siemens Network for Future Interesting Object Detection. It shows here, it has two branches, the Query Image Branch and the Support Image Branch. We have three parts, Siemens Network, Classification Branch, and Regression Branch. In the Siemens Network, both the Query Image and Support Image are extracted feature to get the proposals and the prototypes. And in the Classification Branch, we propose a learnable classification branch use cosine similarity and get the classification scores. And for the regression branch, we propose a prototype embedding network, PEM, and we get the class-related location feature for regression MLP and fully connected layer to be regressed to its location. Next follows the experimental results. To maintain fairness, the compare three methods all trained using Pascal VLC split one. For evaluation, the classes in the dataset are randomly split into six groups with different numbers and members. You can see that with all fine-tuning, zero converge epoch and one shot, same finds show its security against our baseline and after that, which are fine-tuned with three, with 30 and 10 epochs respectively. For per-class results, same find can achieve a worse performance gain in the novel classes, which are marked by red. However, we can also see the limitation of same finds. It can achieve low MAP, and it still can't work well in real-world sequences reported by robots. So with insightful observations, we find that the positive part is within proposal network and regression loss maintains unchanged when new novel classes are introduced, while the negative part is the classification loss varied violently with new classes introduced, and the performance is largely judged by the chosen support images. For possible reason is we can define a new classification branch. The cosine similarity is not very robust in future detectors without fine-tuning. 
Thus, the future work of this project is to research about if the feature extraction or the classification branch that is not robust in such case. And second, I will try to use relation network rather than cosine and similarity for classification. And third, I will try to design a support image graph net potential network to effectively ag aggregate different shots. And fourth, lastly, I will try to design more effective classification laws to handle negative proposal problems. Finally, I extend my sincere gratitude for Professor Sebastian Sturer and Dr. Chen Wang, who provided me invaluable suggestions and guidance in this work. I'm also thankful for all the members in the Air Lab who offered my indispensable help to me.